Hello again, welcome back to the channel. I've come this morning to a place called uh, Lynn's Mill. Um, this is it back here, and this here is the Lynn's Mill Aqueduct, which uh, I'm going to be photographing this morning. And the plan is then we're going to walk all the way back along to the Almond Country Park, Almondale Country Park, which is back that way. Uh, maybe try and grab a few pictures there, we'll see. And then we'll just complete the circuit by coming back down round. Uh, do we go over the aqueduct? Yes, we do. Over the aqueduct and then back to the uh, back to the car park again where I started. So we'll start with this one here. Now I've taken this shot before. We've got the river almond runs in down here, underneath the the, the, the aqueduct, which makes for a good leading line. Very simple picture, uh, but it's very picturesque. I was hoping to get some sunshine on it this morning. I've come early, but as you can probably see, there's a, a big bank of cloud. Just sat, typically, just up there, right in front of the sun. So we'll just have to make do with what we've got. Right, well, I'm all set up now, uh, as you can see. I've got the camera set up with the lens at its absolute maximum. It's up here about 70 mils, which is about uh, 105 mils full frame, there, thereabouts. Um, it's a nice, simple composition that I've got here. Just let me put the, uh, put the thing on there. Um, now, as you can see, we've got a leading line. We've got the river coming in here. This is the River Almond coming in just round from the side here and then straight up towards the aqueduct over there on the horizon and we do have some nice sky which I hope I might be able to bring some colour out in them in the uh, in the post-production this cloud here settling down into the valley there it's actually quite nice I like that so without any further ado before it disappears let me just grab the shot I'll turn the aperture up again because I had that down just for your benefit there we go, so I'll just quickly take the shot, click. So that's that shot in the bag, nice and simple. Now let me tell you about this, uh, about this route that we're going to be doing today because uh, we're walking as much as we're taking photographs. Um, as you're going to find out, that's probably what this channel's going to wind up being about. A lot of walking, a lot of photos. So anyway, we're taking this particular route from this lovely little book here. Let me show you it. There you go. Written by an absolute genius author. Haha, <laughs> me. <laughs> and uh, the route that we're going to be doing today is this one. The Lynn's Mill Loop. Can you see that? I don't know if you can. But... Uh, might take a proper shot of that later, we'll see. But anyway, we're going to be going today down from this end and we're going to be walking up. Can you see that? Starting here and then we'll walk right up by the side of this thing. It's called the Union Canal Feeder and it follows the River Almond up into uh, the Almondale Country Park, which is here. We'll try and get a bit of photography done in there. That's the plan. There might be too many dog walkers around, we'll see. And then we'll head back down to the Union Canal and back to where I started again. So, that's it. Come along for the ride. Well, you might be uh, you might be wondering what this little stream is that runs along here uh, at the side of the path. Um, so let me give you let me give you a little bit of history because you're going to get history on this channel whether you like it or not, along with all the photography and the walking. So never let it be said that I don't give you value for money. Yeah, so this is this is what's called the canal feeder. 
built by Thomas Telford around about 1820 or so. Um, and it runs all the way from Armandale Country Park, which is, as I think I said, just up the road there where we're going. Uh, and it's because, it's there because the Union Canal doesn't exit into the sea at any place or into any rivers or anything like that. It's a contained system. So this is here just to keep the water level topped up. Uh, it flows from the almond up there and where the almond, I think I showed you in that picture there, the almond flows down the hill over here. This here stays at a, a particular level, which I can't remember, it's something like 73 metres, something like that. 70 metres, give or take. And it flows in just up at the car park up the far end. And that's it, that's your history for now. Bit of physics as well. There you go. Well, that's us arrived now in the uh, Almondale Country Park and uh, first thing we come to when we come down the canal feeder and along the almond is this bridge here, the Nelson Mandela Bridge it's called, uh, across the almond, which is, you know, very only fools and horses, but they called it that and that's what it is. Now what I'm thinking is I'm going to get a shot of this bridge, probably, again I'm thinking out loud, in black and white, because it's quite angular, it should be quite nice if I can find the right angle for it. I don't know. I'll take several shots and we'll see which one comes off the best. So I've managed to frame up the, uh, frame up the bridge here. Um, let me just turn the aperture right down and uh, click on record so as you can see it, that's better. So we've got the the bridge here on the rule of thirds. Uh, this line of plants here in the foreground. And at the top we've got this nice piece of framing. Nice and simple. So I'll just switch that off again. Turn up the aperture. And So I've come a little bit further now into Amundel. I'm still down by the river, which is, is literally just there. Um, but I've spotted this twisted looking tree over here. Oh, oh, I really can't see myself in the picture there, but uh, just over here there's a twisted looking tree which uh, has caught my eye. So again, I've tried to capture that. I'll show you the wee video of it. Click that on. There we go, it's working. Uh, again, nice simple composition, I've got it on a vertical shot, rule of thirds, the tree is sitting right down here in the rule of thirds, right down here, uh, branches sticking across this week and it's stretching out of the picture up into the top corner there. Uh, and I quite like the way that we've got this, the whole tree just leading in at the bottom, leading up and back out again at the top. So, come on, switch off, that's it, right, so I shall just... Focus up. I've got to F4 because uh, I want to try and focus on the tree and get the rest of it, uh, the background, out of focus. So F4, 70 mils or so, and uh, off we go. Click. Well, as you can see, the sun is starting to get brighter now, so this is probably going to be one of the last shots I take. Uh, I was considering taking it from this angle, but uh, too much flare. 
so it's not going to happen. There is another shot up around the corner, though, looking directly down the bridge, which I will take now. A bit of tell you about this bridge, I suppose it's um, it's called the Canal Feeder Aqueduct. It was built by Thomas Telford again back in the 1820s. Carries the the feeder that we talked about earlier on across there and away back down towards the uh, towards the Union Canal, which is a couple of miles down that way. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to go and get a shot straight down uh, the bridge just sitting in the middle of it just straight down probably in black and white because as I say the sun is very bright so you're not going to get very nice pictures I'll not take a shot of myself filming it because frankly there's just too many people around just now and I'll just get in their way however here we go this is the shot Well, I'll just call it a day at that, I think. Um, I've been round the park, taking a few photos, which you've seen. I feel like I risk going on and on and on. I've got loads more I want to show you. So what I'll do, I'll come back later in the autumn, maybe in a month or so's time, because there's loads of things to show you in Almondale Country Park. It's a fantastic place. Uh, so yeah, I'm heading back to the car now. If you want to see that, second video just remember it's the usual the usual thing you've got to do you've got to like it like that uh, subscribe and hit the little bell icon would be great um, leave any comments down below as you know and uh, well that's it we'll see you on the next one right bye for now <laughs>